On episode 31 of Shark Tank India, there was a product called Ayurrhythm, an app that could analyze your body's composition as per Ayurveda's three doshas and give you wellness advice. When I listened to the pitch and saw the app itself, there were a lot of logical fallacies there. So let's go over all this and exercise some critical thinking in this video. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Pranav and you're watching Sciences Dope. Regular viewers of my channel will know what my views on Ayurveda are. It's a pseudoscience and I've explained why in depth in this video. So I'm not going to go into detail here except saying that the Tridosha model of Ayurveda has its origins in the Panja Buddhas or the five elements that make up the universe which was an old, completely falsified, outdated theory an uh, outdated way of looking at the world. We know what things in the human body are made of and it's not these five elements. If you disagree, just come with convincing evidence. And there's a chance someone watching might be like, hey, what is this guy saying? I've seen the evidence. They might know someone or they themselves might have had a positive experience after taking an Ayurvedic medicine. I have a perfect answer for your question, but I'm not going to go into it uh, in this video because it'll be too much of a digression. I want this video to be focused on this pitch on Shark Tank, this app. But stay subscribed because I'm going to make a video answering that question soon. This ease with which people accept Ayurveda has given rise to businesses around it, like this app. Let's listen to the pitch. Swat, Kab, Pit. No, no, this is not our name. This is the Ayurvedic bio-elements which we all have made of our body. Evidence. Where is the evidence? What is being said is purely theoretical. Let's ignore for a second that this idea has been completely falsified. What good is a theory if it's not supported by any evidence? I'll give you an example for this from modern science. Uh, the idea of multiverses, which is a consequence of string theory, has no evidence for it. The string theory, therefore, is not accepted by the scientific community. The same way, if you don't provide evidence for your claims, who is gonna accept it? Oh yeah, the gullible people who are willing to pay money for this because they don't know any better. You need them to stay afloat. Vat, mind ko, kaf hamare sharir ki banavat ko, aur pit hamare digestion, metabolism, etc. ko represent karta hai. Inhi se milke alag alag matra mein ye hamare sharir mein hote hai, aur usse hamari prakriti ya original constitution kehte hai. Jaise jaise ham bade hote hai, lifestyle changes aate hai, to ye kafa, pitta, vata out of balance ho jate hai, aur wahi se hamari prakriti vikriti ka roop le leti hai, which is imbalance. Again, this is all theoretical. What is the evidence for any of this? This is as good as saying blue color represents your mind, red color your stomach, and green your feet. I haven't understood anything out of that. One argument I know I'm gonna get here is, hey man, this is a shark tank pitch. No one's gonna explain it in detail here. All right, they would have explained it somewhere, right? I went to their website and this is what I found. I'll leave a link to it down below. You can read the whole page. Why is this not like saying red is associated with movement, green with transformation, etc.? And why is kapha earth plus water? Why not any other combination? And why is none of the tridoshas earth plus fire or air plus water? You can't find the answers to any of these questions on this page. But if anyone knows the answers, the comments are all yours. Uh, I want to read. I'm curious. I wouldn't be asking these questions if I knew the answer. But my guess is these answers are impossible to find because they don't exist. We dug deeper and we were surprised to you know, learn in, within three months of our research that our rishis, munis and sages thousands of years ago, they were aware of the entire health parameters which today the Western world tells you about heart rate, about BP, they are reading from here. Please welcome our first logical fallacy of this pitch, an appeal to tradition. Something doesn't automatically become true because it's knowledge from a thousand years back. It becomes true when evidence says so. You can see a lot of people defending religious scriptures using this um, or any kind of ancient knowledge. Three unglia, my radial artery pe 30 second rakta hai, and he starts to talk about my health. So it has to be some science. So Guess the logical fallacy here. Yes, I've spoken about it before. Yep, it's an appeal to ignorance. Whenever someone reasons anything with 
there must be some science, there must be some logic, some cause behind it. I don't know what it is, I'm ignorant of it, but there must be something behind it. They're committing this fallacy appeal to ignorance. This is bad logic because we end up accepting something without knowing what the reason behind it is, or even if there is a reason behind it. These are all things, these claims that we have seen ourselves, we have seen ourselves, we have seen ourselves for thousands of years. लेकिन इसकी कोई टेस्टिंग करवाई है अपने ऐप की कोई सर्टिफिकेशन मिला है दैट्स अ वंडरफुल क्वेश्चन फाइनली वी गेट टू सी सम एविडेंस इन आपके उस पे डिस्क्लेमर भी लिखा है नीचे कि दिस इज ओनली फॉर आयुर्वेदिक वेलनेस वेट व्हाट दे डोंट आंसर द क्वेश्चन लेकिन इसकी कोई टेस्टिंग करवाई है अपने ऐप की कोई सर्टिफिकेशन मिला है इन आपके उस पे डिस्क्लेमर भी लिखा है नीचे this is only for आयुर्वेदिक वेलनेस आई वेंट टू द सोनी लिव ऐप दैट्स वेयर यू कैन गेट द फुल एपिसोड टू सी इफ द Answer was cut out, but no, this is the same way it is in the original episode. Seriously though, that was the one question I wanted an answer to, but nope, denied. And should not be treated as diagnosis. So, इसका क्या मतलब है? नाड़ी परीक्षा से आप एक्चुअली डिजीज डायग्नोसिस भी कर सकते हैं इसकी वो भी पावर है जिसपे हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं कई हॉस्पिटल्स के साथ लेकिन वो रेगुलेटेड स्पेस है उसके लिए एक प्रोटोकॉल बेस्ड स्टडी होती है तो इसीलिए हमने यहाँ डिस्क्लेमर दे रखा है कि ये सिर्फ अभी लाइफ मैनेजमेंट वेलनेस और प्रिवेंशन की कैटेगरी में है आयुर्वेदा में अभी तक वो सर्टिफिकेशन वगैरह ऐसी कोई बॉडी अभी है नहीं हुई है थिंग इट्स मेड टू साउंड लाइक दीज स्टैंडर्ड एंड प्रोटोकॉल्स है समथिंग That's not true. These standards and protocols are not there in Ayurveda. Not because someone hasn't looked into it yet. It's because good standards of diagnosis don't exist in Ayurveda. I'll give you an example of how diagnosis in Ayurveda works. It happens at a very superficial level. If a patient comes in with jaundice, uh, an Ayurveda way they might examine his superficial symptoms and say, like for example, the yellow color of his eyes. or the yellow in his urine or maybe his lack of appetite etc and say this is the imbalance in your three dosha you take these medicines to balance them that's it all jaundice is treated the same way using superficial symptoms in ayurveda the cause of the jaundice is not identified it could be due to hepatitis a in which case the patient only needs supportive care the disease resolves itself it could be due to hepatitis b in which case the patient needs treatment with antivirals it could be due to autoimmune liver disease or because of some substances they've taken or maybe because of hemolytic anemia which is because the blood and not the liver in all these cases the treatments are very different and they can only you can only decide the course of the treatment once you identify the cause of the jaundice and all ayurveda does is give them similar treatments based on superficial symptoms and these standards and protocols are non existent in ayurveda not because there are no research studies and papers in ayurveda there are tons you can look them up but actual evidence actual clinical results are absent i'm not surprised what evidence can you show in support of a falsified theory all that can be done is flawed studies remember that study that uh, coronel did to try and legitimize itself a link in article down below that describes all the flaws in that study similar studies with similar flaws are often done in ayurveda another thing that is often done to legitimize ayurveda is the spreading of narratives you know like ayurveda is best for lifestyle and chronic diseases western medicine is for quick solutions while ayurveda is for uh, slow but permanent solutions these are all narratives that have no evidence behind them if we do have evidence please show me लेकिन वो रेगुलेटेड स्पेस है उसके लिए एक प्रोटोकॉल बेस्ड स्टडी होती है तो इसीलिए हमने यहाँ डिस्क्लेमर दे रखा है कि ये सिर्फ अभी लाइफस्टाइल मैनेजमेंट वेलनेस और प्रिवेंशन की कैटेगरी में है वन ऑफ द थिंग इज बिकॉज आयुर्वेद इज अनरेगुलेटेड एंड पीपल ट्रस्ट दीज मेडिसिन ब्लाइंडली एंड टेक दम एनी थिंग हार्मफुल इन दीज मेडिसिन बिकम टॉक्सिक फॉर दम एस्पेशली दर लेबर हैवी एंड टॉक्सिक मेथड्स लाइक लेड मर्करी आर्सनिक हैव बिन फाउंड इन आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन बिकॉज दे लैक प्रॉपर टेस्टिंग फॉर सेफ्टी यू शुड फॉलो द लिवर स्पेशलिस्ट डॉक्टर एपी फिलिप्स ऑन ट्विटर because he often gets uh, patients with liver injury from ayurvedic medicines and he tests these medicines and posts his findings on twitter and often the results contain these heavy and toxic metals i've digressed too much let's get back to the app
तो हमने क्या किया फिर एक वेलनेस रिसोर्ट विच इज लार्जेस्ट वेलनेस रिसोर्ट इन द कंट्री निरामया उनके डॉक्टर से तो हमने एक वेस्टर्न मेडिसिन हॉस्पिटल पकड़ा योगा वाली सबसे बड़ी यूनिवर्सिटी ली आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई दे कॉलिंग निरामया वेस्टर्न मेडिसिन हॉस्पिटल इट्स अ वेलनेस रिसोर्ट इन केरला दैट यूजेस आयुर्वेदिक ट्रीटमेंट्स फॉर रिच कस्टमर्स हु कैन अफोर्ड दीस रिट्रीट्स सब्सक्रिप्शन किस चीज का है आयुर्वेदम का खुद का इन हाउस डेवलप्ड कंटेंट है योगासनास वीडियोस प्राणायाम मुद्रा मेडिटेशन क्रिया मुद्रा एवरीथिंग बट इट इज कंटेंट कंटेंट मिलता है फूड्स टू ईट नॉट टू ईट समझ के हर्ब्स वो तो ऑनलाइन भी मिल जाता है पर्सनलाइज्ड 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 नो ओके सो इट्स बेसिकली अ पर्सनलाइज्ड कंटेंट ऐप लेट्स टेक अ लुक शॉल वी Let's look at the app. It starts off by asking you a few questions based on which it determines your prakriti, which is your base tridosha parameters, which if you ask me is a highly unreliable way of doing any test. And it tells me my current imbalances by asking me to place a finger on the front camera uh, while it analyzes and this again seems unreliable to me. Because it's not just my heart rate or pulse; it tells me what's wrong with my whole body based on this. I don't know what to think of the personal recommendations it gives me based on this analysis. If you read the prakriti section of the app, it it's kind of like a horoscope from a newspaper column. A bunch of bottom statements that can apply to most people, sprinkled in with some compliments to make the reader feel good, and a couple of generic but not too harsh sounding. a uh, negative statements that can apply to most people there is nothing specific here how can you call this personalized moreover i know right away that one of the stats it shows me is wrong i know my heart rate is somewhere around 60 i don't need any special equipment to know that just a clock another thing is i watched the full shock tank episode on the sony live app and one of the shocks actually said that uh, they went to a vaidya buffer and ayurveda vaidya buffer and they know that their prakriti is pitta dominated but the app said that it was vata dominated and so the app has questionable accuracy and to that these people didn't have any answer this prompted me to test the app you can see this for yourself i just covered the front camera with the charger and ran the test and as you can see here it's completely running the test <laughs> it doesn't need a uh, your finger or something biological anything to cover the camera will do and it uh, ran the full test and it actually gave me the results as you can see on the screen here either there is some major error with the app or it's actually just fooling people there is a word in english a four letter word for this um, starts with s rhymes with damn i just want to end with this one of the sharks in the original episode said that uh, um they don't want to offer anything because they want to stay away from things of this sort now i don't know what he meant by that i can't say for sure but i think that he was aware that ayurveda was a pseudo science but he didn't want to say anything on national television fearing what backlash he might get because of that I can't believe things have gotten to a point where criticizing Ayurveda because it has no science behind it has um, I mean it's seen as disrespect for the nation and its culture while people blindly trust and take these myths uh, that haven't been tested for safety and because these safety standards and protocols don't exist these products get a free reign in the market under the category of wellness instead of medicines but people still treat them as medicines I've seen people in my family that have such blind trust in Ayurveda that they're more than willing to eat or drink uh, Ayurvedic meds that come in sketchy looking packets or bottles but they're very suspicious of these modern medicines that are uh, that come properly labeled that that tell you all the ingredients that are there inside them that you know are properly safety tested because otherwise they wouldn't get approval we need to think more critically about these things at least about the medicines we put in our bodies i guess this video turned out to be more of a rant on ayurveda huh yeah that's the beauty of writing a video you never know how it's going to turn out by the time we finished writing it but i like how this one turned out i'll see you in the next one till then remember science is dope Oh by the way there is another pseudo science scam on Shark Tank but that probably requires some video uh, meanwhile guess what i'm going to talk about